an introduction to layers. So by the end of this video, you will learn what a layer is in photo editing, the basic things you can do with layers in Pixlr, and the importance of using layers in editing and creating your images. Let's create a new image and look at what a layer is. In Pixlr, there is a layers menu. And you can do quite a lot of things with layers, as you can with the more expensive photo editing tools like Photoshop. And you can have uh, layers and you can open an image as a separate layer and you can move them and rename them and rotate them. All the functions of the layers are available from this menu, but you also have some shortcuts here. So if I wanted to do a new layer, I could click this button here in the layers panel. Layer styles actually apply some styles to that layer, add a layer mask and delete a layer can all be done from there. But what is an actual layer? If I wanted to create a shape, so select the shape tool and a rectangle and draw a green shape. I have one layer to this image. So everything that I do to this image is going to be on the same layer. And that layer as the background is locked. Nothing can be moved on it. But I want to draw another shape. So this time I want to draw a red rectangle so that it overlaps. And now I've got two shapes on that layer. They are not independent. They all, they both belong on the same layer so I cannot move them. If I wanted to move the green rectangle in front of the red rectangle and select the move tool, uh, there's no way I can do it. They're not independent. Once they're been placed on the canvas, that's where they stay. So the only way to fix this is to either undo all the steps or start again. So I'm going to start again. I'm going to create a new image. I'm going to create a new layer, double click it, double click the text and change its name. This is going to have a red rectangle. So it's a shapes tool, the red color is still there and I'm going to draw a red rectangle. Now that's on its own layer. Now I want to draw a green rectangle so I need to create a new layer to hold that object. So a new layer, call it green. Change the color and draw a green rectangle. Now if we look in the layers palette, we've still got that background. The background is that the white color, but there are two objects now. Imagine layers as looking down from the top. The green is on the top layer, it's like sheets of film, and the red is underneath the green. I can move them around. So selecting that move tool and making sure that I'm in the green layer. So that's the one that's highlighted. I can now move that to a different position. I still can't move it underneath the red rectangle, but I can move it in a different part of the canvas. And the same with the red. If I wanted to move the red, I select the red layer and then I can move the red. They are operating independently of each other because they exist in their own layers. So what about if I want to move the red layer so that it is on top of the green? Then you move the layers around. So if I move the green layer underneath the red layer, now the red layer is on top. And I can still move them around independently. So at the moment my green layer is selected, that's the blue highlighting, so I'm moving it, but I can't move it so that it is on top of the red layer because the red is at the top. I have to move the layers. So you can hide layers. So if I wanted to hide the red layer, I could deselect it. It's still sitting there, but now I could just work on the green one. When I'm ready, I can bring that one back. We could add another layer, some text to this. So a new layer. We want it above the green. It's going to be some text. Select the text tool and place the text. I can place the text anywhere because it's in its new layer. So I'll put it here. 
leave, leave it black. And you can see the A indicating that that's the text layer. And that text is now at the top layer. So with the Move tool, I can move it. And it's going to move on top of both the red and the green. Both of them, because that's the top layer. So I can move the text anywhere on any of those rectangles. If I wanted the text to appear behind the green layer, then I move the text layer down. So when I move it, you can see it's underneath the green. So layers is a way of building up your image and positioning elements and moving them independently. Uh, you can add layer masks and there's there's all sorts of other things that you can do with layers, which is the, uh, the coming lessons will show you. But the importance of layers is that they keep everything separate. So you can work on one element of your image without affecting the others.